Hey, what's up everyone? It's Henry again on this beautiful sunny Monday morning. Today we're going to be passing out 120 bags of 5 pound rice and 120 bottles of vitamin C supplements to the seniors living at International House. Let's do it! Let's do uh, team one and two first for elevators. Take a good look at this crew we got here. Awesome team. Let's do it. Should I be filming now too or no? Yeah, go for it. Hey, my name is Henry. Right now I'm having a Zoom meeting with Eileen. Hello. <laughs> I'm a community organizer and program manager at a nonprofit. Sunny, how you feeling? How you feeling? Okay. The general demographic of people I serve is primarily Chinese senior elders. Hey, I'm Sai Hai. Yeah, nigga, Bay Nea. I'm Sai Hai. Okay. Uh, before all this happened, I really just focused on hosting activities like mahjong, tai chi, cooking classes, uh, English classes. So my goal with you know hosting activities and program is to make them feel youthful again and make them feel like uh, you know they're not restricted by age. Many of the seniors they have a, a mobile app called WeChat. I send them voicemails. It's like this, like, hey, except I say it in uh, my native tongue, which is Toy Sanis. It's a dialect of Chinese language. Sometimes I just send them photos of my dog. <laughs> he has an Instagram. <laughs> Sunny the Dash. We also send uh, like emojis. Yeah. We're just in constant communication. I first heard about the COVID-19 virus late January, early February. It was more of like, uh, oh, this is happening, but it's not happening to me. So I'm not worried. But then you fast forward a couple of weeks down the road and now it's like, uh-oh, <laughs> it's a touchdown in our, in our home and it's really starting to scare people in the neighborhood. So uh, there's not many seniors walking out on the public sidewalk anymore. They're not going to restaurants anymore. And so that's when Chinatown became almost like a ghost town. And it was just like a, 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 a scene that you could never envision. I've seen posts how like there was uh, people who, you know, physically assaulted someone because they looked Asian. Also just like Jay Garden getting their window smashed. Other businesses facing that same experiences as well. And then some feedback that I've heard from my residents, they're, they're, they're telling me like, don't come out anymore. Like you can't take the risk of getting hurt and um, like it's not safe for you. You know, even though you're big and you're strong, you don't know how many people are gonna be on the street to attack you. So. It's like they're always expressing some uh, some worrisome feeling for me. It, there was a big question mark for everyone during that time period. What are we going to do? How are you going to serve people? So I proposed to my organization like, hey, let's just start with something. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Henry here. So today is our very first day of responding to the needs of the senior residents in the CID neighborhood. So we went ahead and stopped by at uh, Wajimaya to pick up some groceries for them. So we're gonna pick up some culturally appreciated food. So we we got some uh, some salty crackers, we got some bok choy, we got some frozen buns that they can steam up. And then they, we also got some uh, purple yams here. So all of these items are requested by them. So we wanna make sure that we cater to their needs specifically. So. Uh, we got about 13 bags today and uh, we're going to deliver it. That's why we do it guys. Come on. 
That's what we gotta do. So from there, we've been reaching out to other organizations to see if they want to do some collaboration. The wholesaler actually donated 2,000 pounds of white rice. It's crazy. It's just like, there's so many people who want to support this effort. Oranges, apples, and apples. We are going to pass out groceries again, but this time to about 800 individuals. We're going to be working in groups of two to three volunteers, and we're dividing floors by even and odd. Go there, and then we go down. Delivering groceries is the short-term goal for me. My long-term goal is building relationship. When this is all over, everything that we've built so far shouldn't come tumbling down. When the next, you know, bad thing comes around, we're even more prepared for it. There's so many people who want to support this effort, and it's just amazing how, in tough times, the best in people come out. Comcast Washington is proud to help our neighbors stay connected.